Hey everyone, Google Pay just completely redesigned its app at the end of 2020. So the Google Pay app that was around since 2018 is completely revamped. And I wanted to make a quick video to show you exactly how to use Google Pay, this new version of Google Pay. Now, I looked at it on Android and on the iPhone. It's pretty much the same, but to get it on the iPhone, when you search the App Store for Google Pay, now at the time that I'm recording this, there is a version called Google Pay that has a different logo than the old Google Pay. So the old Google Pay just says old app. This is the previous version. So make sure you don't get that one. You get this one with this icon. Let me just click it here. Google Pay, Save, Pay, and Manage. Let me go ahead and open the app here and go through the sign-up process. It's going to ask for a Google account. So your phone will probably recognize a Google account and you'll just have to select it. Then it's going to ask you to verify with your phone number because people can then use your phone number to find you on Google Pay to pay you, for example. And if you look on the very bottom, there's really three sections to this app. There's the Explorer page, there's the home page where I could pay people and businesses, and then there's that insights icon, and I'll explain that in a second. So the very first thing we could do is we could go to the pay icon, the home option, and we could simply pay someone. So all you have to do is go to the people tab, find people, right here on top, you could go ahead and search people using their email, using their phone number, or maybe you know their Google Pay name, you could search for that, or you could scan a QR code. So if you're near someone, for example, if you're splitting a bill at a restaurant, and then you can scan their QR code. When you click this, you could see it says view your own QR code. So that's how people could find you if you're next to them in person. I'll go ahead and search for someone just to show you what shows up. So again, here I just search for someone based on their phone number. I'm gonna select them. And just like that, it's gonna bring me to this page. Now I could pay them here any amount that I choose, or I could request money from them, or I could send them a message with that pay or request. So let me go ahead in this case and pay them. I'll press pay here. And let's say I wanna pay them $10 and I could go ahead and add a note here. I'll press the arrow to go to the next page. And there is a good chance if you haven't linked a bank account to your Google accounts before, you're gonna get the ability right here on this page to add a debit card or to add a bank account. So make sure you go ahead and select one of these here and add your appropriate account. The money you're sending someone has to come from somewhere into this app so then you could use this app to pay someone. So go ahead and make that connection here. And then once you do, you could just press pay on the bottom of the page. Same thing with request, you could go ahead and request money here, type in what the money is for, press the check mark, and then just press request, and that person will get that message from you. So that's the easy part of using the app, is paying and requesting money from people, your friends, and so on. You could also do this with businesses, that will show up over here, so people first, businesses next. And at the bottom of the page, you could go ahead and press invite, and actually send a message and invite your friends and you both get a reward when you spend money using this platform here. Now, at the time that I'm recording, this is pretty high, the reward, but this is gonna change all the time. So depending on when you're watching this, go and find the invite section so you could invite your other friends here and make some money that way. Let me go to the Explore page here because besides paying your friends or businesses or requesting money from your friends, you could also use this app to get rewards from a bunch of businesses that partner with Google. So for example, if you look here, if you spend money at Target, you're gonna get cash back. If you spend money at Burger King or Macy's, you're gonna get cash back. This page is gonna change all the time, again, depending on the relationships that Google has with different businesses, but it's a great way to get rewards when you're spending money, just like you would when you use a credit card, for example, they have the same type of relationships. That's that page here. And finally, I really like this page. This is pretty unique to Google Pay, but the Insights page lets you connect this app to your bank account. Whatever bank you're banking with, you could connect it, and then you could use this to see where your money is going out. So it's almost like a budget tracker. So you can press Add Account here, and then here it's gonna tell you how it's gonna connect with your bank, accept and sign in for me. Press continue. And as you can see, there's a ton of different banks here or you could search for your bank. Major banks are really included here. So maybe your credit union might not be, but if you have a major bank account with any of these banks, go ahead and select them. And then you sign in with your bank login. So if you use that banking app, 
This is the login it's asking you for. Now, in my case, the connection process took a little bit of time because I actually got a phone call. I had to verify my bank account login here with an automated message. But once you do, you could see your money here, the money you have in that account, the money you're spending from that account. And if you scroll down here, you're going to get to see your recent activity. So pretty much like your bank app, but now it's a lot easier to have everything in one place if you plan on using Google Pay to pay for things or to pay your friends. And if you click on you spend here, if I just tap this, you could see how much money I'm spending this month. Here you could see exactly what I'm spending money on and I could see at what time of the month I spend my money. So this is a really great overview of looking at everything in one chart. You could connect as many bank accounts to it as you want. You could actually see your Google Pay balance on it as well. So it really is a nice way to integrate multiple different things into one app for your budget. And now if I go to the pay page here, because I connected my bank account, a lot of the businesses that I've paid show up over here. Really easy to get a big picture overview of everything. And that's a brief overview of using the brand new Google Pay. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tutorials just like this one. And I'll see you next time.